Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Kay here and what I've got for you today is some more of the Victorian Yuletide kit but these are definitely made with leftovers. <laughs> um, it is a huge kit, I did print out quite a bit of it and um, as a consequence I've done several little um, projects now and I'm in the midst of finishing up the finale so to speak and this is part of what will go into it and as you can see I've made some lovely little frivolous decorations with leftovers from the kit. Very very straightforward, very very easy to make like everything once you've done the base it's all about the decorating and that's what takes the time. However in front of me I have these wonderful little um, rosettes which I've kept simple I've just let the paper talk for itself as I'm sure you can see and it's all the background papers that I've shared before I've just made them into the little rosettes backed them on the back added a little um, where's the other plain one added a little bit of a um, one inch or three quarter of an inch plinth in the center and on the large on the main spotty uh, rosette I've added my most favorite image and just backed it on a little bit of my favorite glitter card and they just kind of speak for themselves really I've used a wordage on this one deck the halls also from the kit a little bit of red ribbon and you know all in all using up scraps I like to do and these have come out really really nicely and very very festive you can always add them to card fronts if you want to you can put a little bit of ribbon on the back and add add it to your tree for a little tree hanging they're substantial enough to withstand at least one year of grace on the tree if that's what you wanted to do and the other thing of course that you can use them for are little toppers on your wrapped Christmas gifts you know they do look good in that position as well and then the other four that I've made I've put a decorative edge around they're still very simplistic there's nothing you know too difficult to do going on you could actually use pinking shears around the edge if you wanted to more of the images from the kit and more of the glitter card again plain on the back but they are quite sturdy and the little decorative edge does give them that little bit more um, prettiness if you like to to cast out the images and someone that I've used on them again the little button dots with the ribbon on the front and more of the images from the kit whatever has been left over if it fits onto a bit of of the glitter card that's left over then I'm quite happy then to pop it onto the rosette as you can see <coughs> and all put together they, they really do look very very festive and very very pretty and unless I'd said to you I'd made it out of leftovers hopefully it wouldn't have that look to it as you've seen the makes and then the other one that I've done, this is a very, very old Sizzix die. Um, I think it's Sizzix and it's the bauble, the um, layered bauble that they did many, many moons ago. And periodically I bring it out just for this kind of thing. Use the background papers again, leftover bits and pieces little images from the kit that would just fit into the smaller um, dies 
here. I'm trying to think of the name of the stacking dies. That's what they used to call them, stacking dies. I think there are about seven or eight of them in in um, in the set. Seven or eight, maybe. I can't remember exactly, but there's a good few. And so this is the third size, third or fourth size, and this is the third size so you've got a nice little decorative area where the paper is being seen very nicely the glitter card I managed to get a few of my little delicate um, snowflakes out of and then I've cut them in half as you can see just to fill in the spaces the little girls that were on um, other items like the oblong uh, oblong tags, I want to call them, um, they were just the right size to bring down for this smaller die and fit on there really, really nicely. And of course, with the paper background, it all blends in together beautifully. The green spotty dotty that I've used a lot of with the same little bit of the snowflake here and the little bit of red ribbon at the top totally plain on the back so if you were to use them for gift tags then clearly you'd be able to leave a message on them but it's just a very very simple idea rather than than throwing away paper you know that you've printed on it's nice to be able to utilise them in this manner and, and clearly this would then fit into journals or into pockets of journals or tuck spots or anything like that. You would also have the facility to put a hidden uh, paper clip on the back if you so desired and that would then just slot nicely onto the side of a page. So, you know, all in all very very useful decorations that have come together really really nicely using the Victorian Yuletide kit designed by Scrimpy Mommy and Lou and readily available on Ko-fi. Thank you very much for joining me today it's always been a pleasure bringing these little things to you and I hope that I've afforded you a little bit of inspiration and you've enjoyed seeing my makes. Take care everyone, happy crafting, bye bye for now.